how many of you are planning for a home theater setup how many of you don't don't know where to start or how to start and how to go about your entire home theater planning or a budget expectations what sort of systems to buy etc 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 now if you are one of them who are struggling and stuck as to where to start and how to start then this video is for you because in this particular video i am going to share with you a very very smart goal plan that will help each one of you make better well informed and wise decisions as well as you are going to get a good road map on planning your home theater system experience in your homes which i know for a fact is your dream experience so before i begin let me introduce myself hello everyone my name is tanmay mehta your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya and since last 9 years i have been designing home cinema experiences for more than thousands of customers with my team here and while doing all these things what we realized is people are confused as to what to buy where to buy how to buy etc and the topic for today's video actually came up from the recently held bangalore casual meetup with the home theater enthusiasts from bangalore and that's where i met a gentleman called rishi and rishi this video is the promise that i made you during that meetup that i will cover a video which will talk about how to plan a home theater in a very very simple five step manner so make sure that you stay active and connected with us through newsletters through campaigns so that you know when are we holding up another meet up in your particular city so make sure to check the links for that and before i jump on to the topic and tell you this smart goal plan for home theater uh creation or home theater system do let us know your queries or do let us know your feedbacks in the comments below cuz your feedbacks are very important because they give us an idea as to where are the struggles that you are finding so that we can cover those videos and keep on exploring more and more such content which is valuable so that each one of you are in a better place to make any decision when it comes to buying to selling in the home cinema industry so we have always seen that to achieve something in life we need to have a goal right i'm sure you all must have heard about it through some motivational speaker or you must have come across some quote and you know for a fact that without having a goal you don't know which direction you want to head to similarly when you buying home theater system you need to have a very very smart goal which helps you reach there within time you know what to buy you know where you want to buy it you know what sort of system you want to buy and this kind of clarity will help you all in getting your dream experience done within timeline within your budget and at your convenience so to ensure that you know all these five steps of the smart goal creation for your home theater system make sure to watch this video till the end and in case you have any queries make sure to use the comment section at any point of time to share your questions queries feedback suggestions so that we can use them and answer them to come to your rescue and we will try to help you as much as we can through this particular medium so now let's jump on to the smart goal the very first thing which is the s of the smart goal stands for select your room now this seems very simple step right because without identifying the room you won't be able to move ahead you won't be understanding as to what sort of home theater system do you need to plan for so the very first step in buying a home theater system is to select your room select your room whether it's a living room bedroom or a dedicated cinema room media room tv room in any room today you can have a good home theater experience so the first thing that i would want you all to do is to select your room the second thing which starts from m obviously in smart is measure the distance why is this important well measuring the distance gives you an idea as to how powerful this system should be it gives you a clarity as to how much screen size should you buy at the same time measuring your room gives you a clarity as to how many people you want to accommodate and how much sitting can you actually place in that particular area so that's why having this measurements handy and ready with you will help you plan your home theater system properly so go ahead and do this second step wherein you have to measure the distance that you would be sitting away from your tv or a projector screen and accordingly start finding out what sort of screen size will fit into that vision or what sort of tv are we looking at 
and how much power do you really need from the speakers to cover that sort of distance. The third step in the SMART goal is assigning your budget. Now, this is a very, very important uh, step in the entire process. And that is where I see that people kind of, you know, start roaming around from a small budget all the way to the big budget. Now, assigning a budget is very, very important because many of you whom I have also spoken to would know that I always say one thing that you need to decide where you want to put a full stop. Because if you don't plan your full stop, the system's budget will always keep on increasing. Because at every step at your purchase, you will always see that there is something better that is available which you can have. But the whole idea is whether you need it, whether you want to spend for it, is something which you should know properly. And for that reason, assigning a budget for your home theater is a very, very important step in knowing what you should buy and what you should not look at to buy. Because believe me guys, every time you will spend a penny, you will always think that the product that you're buying is probably not the best and you'll always have something more better than this. And that's why this entire industry is so wide that for a good budget home theater, it may start from as low as a lakh of rupees and it may go as high as a crore of rupees as well. So if you do not want to get lost anywhere between this lakhs to crores game, then make sure to have your definition or your budget assigning done properly so that you know where to put that full stop and you don't get lost in this particular market. Now moving to the fourth step, which starts with R, that is again a very crucial step. So it stands for research your system. Now, why is this research important? Well, at this particular point of time, you already know what sort of room you want to have the home theater in. You already know what sort of distance you would be sitting away from. You already know that what sort of budget you want to keep in mind. But at the same time, you need to now start looking out for options that you can accommodate in this particular room of yours. So that's why you need to start doing research on these systems. It can be the video system, it can be the audio system, but this research is very, very important. And for that research, we have done quite a good job. So you can always obviously check the playlist that we have created, wherein we have given you a home theater basic guide. We have done a lot of product reviews, unboxing, comparison videos. At the same time, we have also done some cool hacks and tips which will help each one of you buy a good home theater system. So we have covered some part of it, but yes, you are always open to do some more research. In this particular step, it is also better to start going out and auditioning various systems so that you know that what sort of sound appeals to your ears. At the same time, what sort of projection quality appeals to your eyes. It may be Full HD or 4K resolution. It can be a motorized screen, fixed frame screen or the various types of fabrics that you would see in the screens. So you can always explore this and do this research in the fourth step of buying your home theater. And this fourth step, as I said, is nothing but researching the system or research the systems. Taking action and deciding the timelines is the fifth and the final step in ensuring that your home theater experience is completed. Because I have again in this particular last step, I have seen people themselves pushing so much of time in only doing research that they do not end up buying anything. So to do all this, you need to have a proper timeline and your action steps to get this done. Because in this four steps itself, if you get lost, you will never end up to the fifth stage. And to some extent, that will not really help you get a good desirable home cinema system. Okay, so research is important, but how much? That's something that you need to decide whether you just keep on learning, learning, learning. And at the end of the day, that becomes your main, you know, primary objective or else you leave it up to the experts. You let them take care of it for you and you just give them timelines and decide the next action steps. And that's how they will follow those for you. So if you feel that this five step smart goal plan works for you in your home theater system, then do let me know about it in the comments below. And at the very same time, I would urge all of you, okay, to check the links that we have shared in the description, because at any of these five steps, if you feel that you need to reach out to someone who can guide you and help you in designing your home cinema system, then we have got a set system wherein you can actually 
understand what all things you want, which room you want to put your home theater in, and you can get a lot of options and solutions from us as well. And in case you want to reach out to me or talk to me, I will be sharing a T20 link as well for that in the comment section. So feel free to use that. And I, Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema technology consultant or home theater wale bhaiya, will see you all in my next video. Thank you once again. Keep watching, keep subscribing, and do hit the like button in case you have found this particular video valuable. Thank you. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye bye.